Hello my little llamas, it is Close Me here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting off my brand new Let's Play, which I don't know the name of yet, but that will be the title, so you guys will know, but I don't quite yet. Uh, but it is part one of whatever this Let's Play is going to be called, and I want to hop right in. But before we do, I just want to say that I am trying to talk a little bit quieter because I find that my previous videos have been quite loud. I've talked really loud, so I just want to kind of tone it down. Actually, hold on. So, I'm going to give you a tour of this house, and then I'm going to show you our sim. So here, as you can see, there's literally nothing. It's just kind of roof stuff. So, yeah, nothing in there, um, but we're just going to go down and kind of head into this house. So, this is Rachel May's house. Uh, she is our sim for this LP, and you can already see in her house, and I personally love it. So, this is kind of like an overview of the house. Um, some people might find it a little bit bright and obnoxious, but I think that it's really cute, and it totally suits her personality. Um, so, starting off, uh, this is the door here. Then we have a picture, and these curtains I guess super important and then we have here the little living space so I do use custom content build mode items but only in houses that won't be uploaded to the gallery so because I'm using this for a let's play it will not be on the gallery or at least until I'm finished so or finished with it because I just personally would rather wait until I am done with it um, but regular houses will not have built CC wow so that you guys can easily download it and not have to worry uh, and then so as you can see I don't know why I said and then but <laughs> anyway as you can see we have lots of con custom content in this house uh, along with this furniture which I love I think it's so pretty I love this mint green color and then our TV stand and our TV. This TV is not custom content, it is just a uh, cheap TV sized up. And then we have a little bookshelf. And then we have our kitchen, which is all like mint green. <laughs> and it is a little bit intense, but I also love it. And there's not really many lights in here, so I should probably add some more lights. But I was thinking of having the like fridge and appliance kind of stuff white. But because they're the cheapest, they're like a yellowy white, so I thought that that look, just looked better, so that's what I did. And then um, back over here, we have a little table here, and then we have this dining table, which I love so much. I love, 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 love the chairs. They are so adorable, and I think I actually might switch the table to a small little white round table if I remember to do that, but we will see, but yeah, um, the table and the chairs nice zoom in <laughs> action um, are both custom content and then we just have a little blue rug and then over here we have this small entrance table I guess and then in the bathroom we have just a regular shower sink um, counter that we have no money to put anything on a mirror um, a toilet and a little towel thing towel rack with a towel on it and then this room is a little bit of a mystery so this room is just completely empty eventually this will probably be a kids room even though it's a bit small but I mean you know it's not that bad and last but not least we have her room which our sim is in Rachel kind of an odd angle but that's Rachel so I've already played a day off camera because I needed more money for the house and I didn't want to cheat money so I just made some money by like um, collecting some stuff and you know everything like that and, and so it took a day and so she is just woken up so she's still in her PJs but anyway not really the point right now so this is her bedroom she just has like an old dresser that I thought was maybe from her grandma or something and she has a mirror and a bed and then a little box for a nightstand so that's her room and I think I showed all of the house now it's not too big but it's also like a decent size for somebody like her age I guess so anyway 
Uh, now I'm going to tell you a little bit of a backstory on our Sim and kind of, wow, I'm in the wrong room, <laughs> and kind of how her life has been previously. And I'm just going to actually go back into tab mode for now. So this is our Sim. She is so gorgeous. Her name is Rachel. Like I said, her last name is May, but I kind of, or I will probably call her Rachel May quite often because I just like the sound of it. And maybe I'll like add a last name and then her actual name will be, be wow, I keep messing up my words. Her actual name will be Rachel May, but probably not. I'll probably forget. Um, but anyway, so a little bit of a backstory on Rachel is her whole life, well, at least from up from when she was six, uh, her mom and dad passed away in a car accident. And so she didn't have any relatives really around and so her both of her parents didn't have any siblings so she had to go into foster care and unfortunately she was never adopted she was going to be adopted once but then things were complicated and it didn't end up working out that was when she was 16 so ever since she's just been kind of staying in foster homes and just won't like wanted to get out but she didn't want to be emancipated because there's a lot that you have to do to become emancipated and you have to like still do school well have like a really basically a full-time job and it's a lot of work so she thought that she would just wait until she was 18 and then she would live out on her own so that's what she's done so she is now a young adult I would say she's probably like 19 ish by now um, also when she's a teenager she obviously had a job and Basically the whole time she was just saving up her money to try and afford a house, which is what she's doing right now. She at the moment rents this house or has a lease on it, uh, but I think that she is going to hopefully buy it one day, but we'll see how that goes. And um, But for now, like we're not going to really break down everything and, you know, really change it. But that is like her backstory we're I'm just gonna quickly show you her outfits just in this mode so we have this first one here that's an everyday wear we have this one uh, she has the same hair in every outfit uh, because I love it so much uh, we have this outfit this dress this outfit we have this for formal um, this is sportwear or athletic or whatever you want to call it sleepwear party wear and swimwear and she, don't, I don't think she has any custom content other than makeup and this bathing suit, I'm pretty sure. So we are going to just use this outfit here, which I really like it. I think it's nice. Um, it has a skirt from, or there is a skirt from Romantic Garden and this is it. And it matches like this exact same color as this shirt. So I thought that that looked kind of like a cute little dress, so that's what she has. And then her makeup, I think only her eyeliner is custom content. So, oh, and maybe her lipstick, but anyway. So that is our sim. And again, this room will probably just be a kid's room, but for now we're just going to leave it empty. And let's turn on auto lights because those are pretty important. So she wants to watch some TV. Oh, I didn't show you her like aspiration and stuff. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. So she's a nerd brain. She wants to finish reading three books and achieve level three logic skill. And she already has a job, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah, she does. So she is a lab technician. She's a scientist. She did very, very well in school because often she was bored. So she just worked really hard in school and at her job. Uh, so she is a lab technician. And she has work in four hours because it's six o'clock in the morning. She works at 10, so I guess pretty easy math. And then she is cheerful, family oriented, neat, and a quick learner. And like I said, she's a young adult. She has 19 days till she ages up to an adult. And in those 19 days, I would like to get married and have a kid, which doesn't sound like long if this was real life, but it isn't. So let's just hop right in. I think I want her to just try and get like her needs completely full so we will have a shower and eat a little bit because that's like I think the main things that she needs to do at the moment let's have a thoughtful shower and then she can have some 
dinner or <laughs> some dinner okay some breakfast because she's oh yeah she's pretty hungry now so we will serve breakfast actually let's just check I might have cooked something this is a fruitcake she didn't like it so we'll just throw that out okay anyway uh, so let's serve breakfast maybe some fruit salad oh she's singing in the shower I can hear it I sing in the shower I don't know about you guys comment down below tell me if you guys sing in the shower often or just sometimes or all the time I don't always sing in the shower but I do quite a bit yeah yeah I, I yeah I sing like almost all the time I guess okay let's speed this up again so it's like 730 okay she's done so she's supposed to be focused when she goes to work which oh my goodness why are you going there there's a counter space isn't there well whatever I mean honestly I don't really care but anyway I don't actually know how to get a sim focused oh yeah she does have one hairstyle that's different she has this bun from I think cool kitchen it looks like that and it's just kind of like half thrown back but anyway um, I think you can read a book to become focused am I right yeah I think I am because we did read to have a breakthrough so I did a few things off camera other than make money but not really I just kind of got her settled in furnished the house just stuff like that so you know didn't really miss out on much okay so we are done she's going to grab a serving and then we'll put the rest in the fridge this is like <laughs> kind of complicated okay there we go so that is good and well she is eating her fruit salad now and then after that we will um, get her to go to the bathroom and then probably just read because I feel like the rest of her needs are pretty good and we are going to go to work with her. I know that some people have seen, or actually most people have seen, the get to work careers, but I mean, it's not like we're going to go with her every day, but I feel like it's better than just speeding through the day and not really doing anything. So we'll just go with her and then after work maybe we'll go out somewhere for a little bit because her work does start at 10 so it's not like she has to be up that early. Especially since we're controlling her at work, we can get her needs up a little bit. So I think that, um, I think that'll be good. And maybe we'll just like go to the park or something. I don't really know yet. But we'll probably do something outside. Okay, so she goes to work in an hour. I really want her to finish eating so that she can do some reading and use the toilet. So after she's done that, we are going to read, um, Crisis Barn sounds interesting I guess oh she is done eating perfect so let's just oh no I can do it because that'll be faster oh great no okay okay that was weird it's like uh, what's happening it's like really weird but anyway okay finally uh, so she's reading okay I want you to go to the bathroom too please you can bring your book yeah okay you can bring your book that's what I thought to the bathroom I really like that outfit it's cute I like all of her outfits to be honest I don't really think she's a high heel type of gal but I think that like all of her outfits have high, high heels so I don't know okay so she's inspired still I hope that reading will get her focused, but she has to go to work really soon, so I'm not sure if she'll become focused or not. I don't really know. Oh, also when we get home, I'd like her to collect some stuff, maybe do a little bit of fishing, and then maybe we'll go out or something. I don't know. But I do want to go out for sure, and I do want to collect this stuff because we'll get quite a bit of money from that, considering we won't get ooh, that much money from our job. And I don't know about everyone's computer, but my computer, it takes so long to load to the workplace. Like, probably a minute. It's terrible. Maybe I'm being dramatic. I don't really know. It always feels like a minute. So, if it takes a while, I am sorry about that. 
but I'm just going to keep talking throughout it. I'm not going to cut it out. I would rather just kind of talk about the Let's Play and just try and casually make it not awkward, even though it may get awkward at times. But I guess I'll kind of just tell you about what I want to get done in this Let's Play. So this isn't like a legacy challenge or anything, but I do want to get to 10 generations. That is my goal. And there will be probably two-ish generations per um, season of this. But if I'm not really enjoying it anymore, obviously we won't do it for that long. Because that's like a lot. <laughs> that's five seasons. Which would be like quite a few years. Like four years. Which sounds crazy. I don't know if I would want to play the same family for that long. But maybe. Like I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. But now that we are at work, okay, she is browsing the web, which is not what we want to do. We want to start off by just experimenting on the chemistry lab, because we will do that after we experiment for a while. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so we are going to experiment. I'm going to put down the walls. Usually I do not do that ever, but for the science lab, I am going to because of all the like mini walls with the glass and stuff. I just... I don't want them up so I think that we will actually just speed th on through this because I think it takes a while for this thing to like be a check mark to count as completed okay there we go so now we will synthesize the food serum oh we need plants okay so we will water a plant and harvest. And actually, let's harvest all. Because we can sell them too and use them for stuff. And then also, after that, we will practice our analysis. So we are going to stop talking to her now, even though she seems really nice. Nice that she came up to talk to us. So we'll probably talk to her later, but not right now. She looks like like a pretty nice person so you know oh we're still experimenting jeez okay I don't want you to talk to her anymore just for now though I promise she is so pretty I love green eyes too so you know I have lots of green eyed sims that's for sure yeah what's her name actually uh, Ava Capriciosa <laughs> I I think that she could totally be our friend. Okay. So she's just harvesting everything right now. And then she's going... Is she not going to water them? Okay, we need to water a plant. That's like the main thing that we have to do. But for some reason... Okay, finally. <laughs> Why aren't you doing it? Hmm. That was odd. She looks so like labby. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but... Anyway, okay, so we will ask Ava, we're just going to call her Ava, um, for her metal. She is uncomfortable from dirty surroundings. I think it's from the water on the floor, but sucks to be you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, are we going in the washroom? Are we going to accidentally... Okay. No, I don't think we are. Okay, so she gave us some Baconite. That sounds like my kind of metal. <laughs> so now we are going to uh, synthesize serum. We are going to do the food one. Stop talking to her. I'm sorry. And then we will practice analysis, and then we will chat with the invention constructor. I we're done at seven. Oh, I guess we did start at 10 after all, but I thought we were done at like 3. We still have like 6 hours, so I think that we'll get to at least go to here probably, which is pretty good. So, Oh, who's this? Uh, Karen Thrasher. Hmm, we could totally talk to her too. Whenever I hear the name Karen, I just think of like Karen... The computer thing in SpongeBob. I, I, I love it. Okay, so she is still trying to make this serum. I assume it won't go well because it's her first time. 
but I could be wrong. And I feel like every time I speed it up, she just doesn't do anything. Like, she just stands there. Oh, she is this time. Okay, well, anyway, this has taken her, like, an hour. I mean, I guess it, like, sort of makes sense, but come on now. It's weird. Okay, oh, success! Rachel has successfully created a serum. Now, that's all, now all that's left to do is to test it. Awesome, so she actually did complete it. I was wrong. And good for her, because it was her first time. Is she, like, a genius? I don't think she is. She's a quick learner, so I guess that might be it, but I don't know. So we're going to speed this up as well. Hopefully it doesn't take her as long. I don't think it usually does to just, like, practice, but it actually might take longer. I'm not too sure. Ooh, and she's focused, which is pretty awesome. And then I think what we'll have to do at home is have, like, three, like, brainstorms or whatever they're called, um, breakthroughs. So, okay, this is done. Good. Um, okay, now we are going to chat with the robot. Anyway, what was I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Okay, so she's just chatting with the robot. I remember the first time I saw this, I got so excited. And congratulations, us starting your element collection. Oh, she found an element. That's cool. Anyway, um, we will totally start an element collection. But, oh, we got to there. Awesome. I'm like getting distracted so much. I don't even know what my initial point was. Oh, yeah, talking robot thing. It gets me excited for the... Um, Oh, wait. Anyway, I don't know what just happened. It gets me excited for the talking toilet in The Sims 4 City Living. Because in the live stream they show that you can, like, talk to it and it can show you holographic images and just lots of cool stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited for it. I think it'll be cool to have a relationship with your toilet. <laughs> okay. We're still at, like, the initial stage of creating this. I'm pretty sure creating the momentum conserver takes a while. Looks pretty cool though. I mean, I've seen this done a million times, but it's still pretty fascinating to be honest. But we're still going to speed it up. Oh my goodness. This takes forever. It's already 5.30. I really would like to get this done before we have to go home. That would be nice so that we don't have to like redo it tomorrow. That's like my main goal for today is just to get this finished. Which actually might not happen because we only have like an hour left of work. But oh wait, please tell me she's creating the momentum conserver thing, right? Oops. She's brainstorming. Oh no. That's the problem. I was wondering why it was the same thing over and over again. I'm sorry if anyone was, like, yelling at the screen. How did I not realize that? Ugh, that makes me really angry. She's getting kind of hungry. We'll have to eat when we get home. Oh, it's completed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I got a little bit too excited, I guess. Okay, it is 6.40. I really want her to finish this. And we might even have to work late because I wasted two hours. <laughs> Okay. Should we stay late? We probably won't have time to go out then, though. You know, we're not going to stay late. We're just going to try and finish this, even though we have four minutes, so it's, I know it's not going to happen. Oh, wait. Is it? Is it done? Is it almost done? Oh, it's so close to done, and she's not going to... Oh, that makes me <laughs> so mad. But we actually got $216. I thought we would get less than that. So that's pretty impressive. And hopefully tomorrow or like next time she goes to work, we will get a promotion. Am I being a little bit too keen? I don't know. That is such an Australian word. Like, I don't, I don't know why I said that. I'm, I'm not from Australia. I'm sure you guys knew that, but... Anyway, 
we are getting pretty close to the end of this part so I think that next part we will head out and do all that fun stuff but for now we'll just quickly get her to eat some garden salad or some franks and beans why not we'll get her to eat that as I kind of say my goodbyes for this part um, but like I was saying next part we will go out and meet some people have some friends sort of stuff like that and we will also collect this stuff or maybe I'll collect this stuff off camera I'm not too sure yet we'll kind of see and what else I guess we'll probably end up having to go to work but anyway point is is for next part I really want to go out and meet some people that's like the main thing and I think that is all so <gasps> what okay no not ready oh my gosh I was about to end this part are you kidding me no Rachel no oh yeah yeah come on uh, stupid fire okay <laughs> I'm gonna help her now so we are going to extinguish self and then well can't we extinguish the fire okay well now she's really tense that's great can we resume these no oh okay they're done well I mean at least we have a meal right four hundred dollars yeah of course we can't afford it oh my gosh that's so gross looking we're just gonna get rid of those leftovers now she's really tense but <laughs> I'm going to end this part here and kind of deal with her needs and everything because they're not so great now which is just lovely but anyway thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this part and I hope you check out the rest of my videos don't forget to like this video and I think I already said that and comment down below what you thought of Rachel and her backstory and all that stuff I don't know why I'm like going over there but um, I do not have a video planned for tomorrow I don't think there will be anything tomorrow but Friday will be a brand new let's play as well and so don't forget to check that out and thank you guys again so so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye guys